Jyotisha or Jyotishya from Sanskrit Jyotisa, from Jyoti, light, heavenly body, is the traditional Hindu system of astrology, also known as Hindu astrology, and more recently Vedic astrology. The term Hindu astrology has been in use as the English equivalent of Jyotisa since the early 19th century, whereas Vedic astrology is a relatively recent term, entering common usage in the 1980s with self-help publications on Ayurveda or Yoga. Vedanga Jyotishya is one of the earliest texts about astronomy within the Vedas. However, some authors have claimed that the horoscopic astrology practiced in the Indian subcontinent came from Hellenistic influences, post-dating the Vedic period. In the epics Ramayana and Mahabharata, only electional astrology, omens, dreams and physiognomy are used. Following a judgment of the Andhra Pradesh High Court in 2001 which favoured astrology, some Indian universities now offer advanced degrees in Hindu astrology, despite protest from the scientific community. Astrology is rejected as pseudoscience by the scientific community. History and core principles Jyotisa is one of the Vedanga, the six auxiliary disciplines used to support Vedic rituals. Early Jyotisa is concerned with the preparation of a calendar to determine dates for sacrificial rituals, with nothing written regarding planets. There are mentions of eclipse causing demons in the Atharvaveda and Chandogya Upanishad, the latter mentioning Rahu a shadow entity believed responsible for eclipses and meteors. The term Graha, which is now taken to mean planet, originally meant demon. The Rigveda also mentions an eclipse causing demon, Svarvanu, however the specific term Graha was not applied to Svarvanu until the later Mahabharata and Ramayana. The foundation of Hindu astrology is the notion of Banda of the Vedas, scriptures, which is the connection between the microcosm and the macrocosm. Practice relies primarily on the sidereal zodiac, which differs from the tropical zodiac used in Western Hellenistic astrology in that an Ionamsa adjustment is made for the gradual precession of the vernal equinox. Hindu astrology includes several nuanced sub-systems of interpretation and prediction with elements not found in Hellenistic astrology, such as its system of lunar mansions Noxatra. It was only after the transmission of Hellenistic astrology that the order of planets in India was fixed in that of the seven-day week. Hellenistic astrology and astronomy also transmitted the twelve zodiacal signs beginning with Aries and the twelve astrological places beginning with the Ascendant. The first evidence of the introduction of Greek astrology to India is the Yavanajataka which dates to the early centuries CE. The Yavanajataka lit. Sayings of the Greeks, was translated from Greek to Sanskrit by Yavainsvara during the 2nd century CE, and is considered the first Indian astrological treatise in the Sanskrit language. However the only version that survives is the verse version of Svujivaja which dates to AD 270. The first Indian astronomical text to define the weekday was the Aryabhatiya of Aryabhata, born AD 476. According to Michio Yano, Indian astronomers must have been occupied with the task of Indianizing and Sanskritizing Greek astronomy during the 300 or so years between the first Yavanajataka and the Aryabhatiya. The astronomical texts of these 300 years are lost. The later Panyukasadantika of Varahamahira summarizes the five known Indian astronomical schools of the 6th century. Indian astronomy preserved some of the older pre Ptolemaic elements of Greek astronomy. The main texts upon which classical Indian astrology is based are early medieval compilations, notably the Burhat Parasara Horasastra, and Saravali by Kalyanavarma. 
The Horashastra is a composite work of 71 chapters, of which the first part chapters 1 to 51 dates to the 7th to early 8th centuries and the second part chapters 52 to, 71 to the later 8th century. The Saravali likewise dates to around 800 CE. English translations of these texts were published by N. N. Krishna Rao and V. B. Chaudhari in 1963 and 1961, respectively. <laughs> Modern Hindu astrology Astrology remains an important facet of folk belief in the contemporary lives of many Hindus. In Hindu culture, newborns are traditionally named based on their Jyotisa charts, and astrological concepts are pervasive in the organization of the calendar and holidays, and in making major decisions such as those about marriage, opening a new business, or moving into a new home. Many Hindus believe that heavenly bodies, including the planets, have an influence throughout the life of a human being, and these planetary influences are the fruit of karma. The Navagraha, planetary deities, are considered subordinate to Ishvara the Hindu concept of a supreme being in the administration of justice. Thus, it is believed that these planets can influence earthly life. <laughs> <laughs> Status of astrology Astrology retains a position among the sciences in modern India. India's University Grants Commission and Ministry of Human Resource Development decided to introduce Jyotir Vigyan, i.e., Jyotir Vijnana or Vedic Astrology, as a discipline of study in Indian universities, stating that Vedic astrology is not only one of the main subjects of our traditional and classical knowledge but this is the discipline, which lets us know the events happening in human life and in universe on time scale." The decision was backed by a 2001 judgment of the Andhra Pradesh High Court, and some Indian universities offer advanced degrees in astrology. This was met with widespread protests from the scientific community in India and Indian scientists working abroad. A petition sent to the Supreme Court of India stated that the introduction of astrology to university curricula is, "...a giant leap backwards, undermining whatever scientific credibility the country has achieved so far." In 2004, the Supreme Court dismissed the petition, concluding that the teaching of astrology did not qualify as the promotion of religion. In February 2011, the Bombay High Court referred to the 2004 Supreme Court ruling when it dismissed a case which had challenged astrology's status as a science. As of 2014, despite continuing complaints by scientists, astrology continues to be taught at various universities in India, and there is a movement in progress to establish a national Vedic university to teach astrology together with the study of Tantra, Mantra, and Yoga. <laughs> Elements There are 16 varga, Sanskrit, varga part, division, or divisional, charts used in Hindu astrology. <inaudible> Rasi, zodiacal signs The Nirayana, or sidereal zodiac, is an imaginary belt of 360 degrees, which, like the Sayana, or tropical zodiac, is divided into 12 equal parts. Each part of 30 degrees is called a sign or rasi Sanskrit part. Vedic Jyotisa, and Western zodiacs differ in the method of measurement. While synchronically, the two systems are identical, Jyotisa primarily uses the sidereal zodiac in which stars are considered to be the fixed background against which the motion of the planets is measured, whereas most Western astrology uses the tropical zodiac the motion of the planets is measured against the position of the Sun on the spring equinox. 
After two millennia, as a result of the precession of the equinoxes, the origin of the ecliptic longitude has shifted by about 22 degrees. As a result, the placement of planets in the Jyotisa system is consistent with the actual zodiac, while in Western astrology the planets fall into the following constellation about two-thirds of the time. Noxatras, lunar mansions The nakshatras or lunar mansions are 27 equal divisions of the night sky used in Hindu astrology, each identified by its prominent stars. Historical medieval Hindu astrology enumerated either 27 or 28 nakshatras. In modern astrology, a rigid system of 27 nakshatras is generally used, each covering 13 degrees 20 of the ecliptic. The missing 28th nakshatra is Abhijita. Each nakshatra is divided into equal quarters or padas of 3 degrees 20. Of greatest importance is the Abhisika nakshatra, which is held as king over the other nakshatras. Worshipping and gaining favor over this nakshatra is said to give power to remedy all the other nakshatras, and is of concern in predictive astrology and mitigating karma. The 27 nakshatras are <laughs> Dasas, planetary periods The word dasha, Devanagari, dasa Sanskrit, dasa, planetary period, means state of being, and it is believed that the dasa largely governs the state of being of a person. The dasa system shows which planets may be said to have become particularly active during the period of the dasa. The ruling planet, the dasanatha or lord of the dasa, eclipses the mind of the person, compelling him or her to act per the nature of the planet. There are several dasha systems, each with its own utility and area of application. There are dasas of grahas planets, as well as dasas of the rasis zodiac signs. The primary system used by astrologers is the Vimsatari dasa system, which has been considered universally applicable in the Kaliyuga to all horoscopes. The first Maha Dasa is determined by the position of the natal moon in a given Nakshatra. The lord of the Nakshatra governs the Dasa. Each Maha Dasa is divided into sub-periods called Bhuktis, or Antar Dasas, which are proportional divisions of the Maha Dasa. Further proportional subdivisions can be made, but error margins based on accuracy of the birth time grow exponentially. The next subdivision is called Pratyantar Dasa, which can in turn be divided into Sukshma Antardasa, which can in turn be divided into Prana Antardasa, which can be sub-divided into Deha Antardasa. Such subdivisions also exist in all other Dasa systems. <laughs> Grahas, planets The Navagraha, nine graha, Devanagari, Graha Sanskrit, Graha, seizing, laying hold of, holding, describe nine celestial bodies used in Hindu astrology. The Navagraha are said to be forces that capture or eclipse the mind and the decision making of human beings, thus, the term graha. When the grahas are active in their dasas or periodicities, they are said to be particularly empowered to direct the affairs of people and events. Gemstones are considered of use in strengthening the favorable influence of planets in the horoscope. The benefic planets of a horoscope are the lords of the kendra, first, fourth, seventh, and tenth house, and the trikonas, first, fifth, and ninth house. The Navagraha, their corresponding astronomical bodies, when such exist, and their associated gemstones are Surya, the sun, ruby. Chandra aka Soma the moon pearl Mangala Mars red coral Buddha Mercury emerald Guru aka Burhaspati Jupiter yellow sapphire Shukra Venus diamond Shani Saturn blue sapphire 
Rahu, Hessenite Kitu, Katz Irahu and Kitu do not correspond to real astronomical bodies. They are described as shadow planets with an orbital cycle of 18 years and are always 180 degrees from each other, being diametrically opposed twins. Rahu's cycle approximates the pattern of solar and lunar eclipses for which Rahu is believed to be the cause. <laughs> Gocharas, transits A natal chart shows the position of the grahas at the moment of birth. Since that moment, the grahas have continued to move around the zodiac, interacting with the natal chart grahas. This period of interaction is called gochara Sanskrit, gochara, transit. The study of transits is based on the transit of the moon Chandra, which spans roughly two days, and also on the movement of Mercury Buddha and Venus Sukra across the celestial sphere, which is relatively fast as viewed from Earth. The movement of the slower planets, Jupiter Guru, Saturn Sani, and Rahu Ketu, is always of considerable importance. Astrologers study the transit of the Dasa Lord from various reference points in the horoscope. <laughs> Yogas, planetary combinations in Hindu astronomy, yoga, Sanskrit, yoga union, is a combination of planets placed in a specific relationship to each other. Raja yogas are perceived as givers of fame, status and authority, and are typically formed by the association of the lord of Kendra's, quadrants, when reckoned from the lagna, ascendant, and the lords of the trikona, trines. The Raja yogas are culminations of the blessings of Vishnu and Lakshmi. Some planets, such as Mars for Leo Lagna, do not need another graha to create Rajayoga, but are capable of giving Rajayoga suo moto due to their own lordship of the fourth bhava and the ninth bhava from the Lagna, the two being a Kendra and Trikona bhava respectively. Dana yogas are formed by the association of wealth giving planets such as the Danisa or the second lord and the Labesa or the eleventh lord from the Lagna. Dana yogas are also formed due to the auspicious placement of the Dharapada, A7, when reckoned from the Aruta Lagna Al. The combination of the Lanyesa and the Bhagisa also leads to wealth through the Lakshmi Yoga. Sannyasa yogas are formed due to the placement of four or more grahas, excluding the sun, in a Kendra Bhava from the Lagna. There are some overarching yogas in Jyotisa such as Amavasya Dosa, Kala Sarpa Yoga Kala Amrita Yoga and Graha Malika Yoga that can take precedence over Yamaha Yoga planetary placements in the horoscope. <laughs> Bhavas, houses The Hindu Jataka, or birth chart, is the Bhava Kakra Sanskrit, division wheel, the complete 360 degrees circle of life, divided into houses, and represents a way of enacting the influences in the wheel. Each house has associated karaka Sanskrit, significator planets that can alter the interpretation of a particular house. Each bhava spans an arc of 30 degrees with 12 bhavas in any chart of the horoscope. These are a crucial part of any horoscopic study since the bhavas, understood as state of being, personalize the rasis, rashis to the native and each rasi, rashi apart from indicating its true nature reveals its impact on the person based on the bhava occupied. The best way to study the various facets of Jyotisa is to see their role in chart evaluation of actual persons and how these are construed. <laughs> Diarstis – Aspects Drishti Sanskrit, Diarsti, sight, is an aspect to an entire house. Grahas cast only forward aspects, with the furthest aspect being considered the strongest. 
For example, Mars aspects the 4th, 7th, and 8th houses from its position, and its 8th house aspect is considered more powerful than its 7th aspect, which is in turn more powerful than its 4th aspect. The principle of Drishti aspect was devised on the basis of the aspect of an army of planets as deity and demon in a war field. Thus the Sun, a deity king with only one full aspect, is more powerful than the demon king Saturn, which has three full aspects. Aspects can be cast both by the planets and by the signs Planetary aspects are a function of desire, while sign aspects are a function of awareness and cognizance. There are some higher aspects of Graha Drsti planetary aspects that are not limited to the Vasesa Drsti or the special aspects. Rasi Drsti works based on the following formulaic structure, all movable signs aspect fixed signs except the one adjacent, and all dual and mutable signs aspect each other without exception. Science Astrology has been rejected by the scientific community as having no explanatory power for describing the universe. Scientific testing of astrology has been conducted, and no evidence has been found to support any of the premises or purported effects outlined in astrological traditions. There is no proposed mechanism of action by which the positions and motions of stars and planets could affect people and events on Earth that does not contradict well understood, basic aspects of biology and physics. Astrologers in Indian astrology make grand claims without taking adequate controls into consideration. Saturn was in Aries in 1909, 1939 and 1968, yet the astrologer Bangalore Venkata Raman claimed that, "...when Saturn was in Aries in 1939 England had to declare war against Germany," ignoring the two other dates. Astrologers regularly fail in attempts to predict election results in India, and fail to predict major events such as the assassination of Indira Gandhi. Predictions by the head of the Indian Astrologers Federation about war between India and Pakistan in 1982 also failed. In 2000, when several planets happened to be close to one another, astrologers predicted that there would be catastrophes, volcanic eruptions, and tidal waves. This caused an entire seaside village in the Indian state of Gujarat to panic and abandon their houses. The predicted events did not occur and the vacant houses were burgled. Topic: <inaudible> Testing Astrology. In one test, 27 Indian astrologers with the appropriate horoscopes failed to determine the intelligence difference between 100 mentally bright and 100 mentally handicapped children at a rate higher than that determined by chance alone in a double blind test. The astrologers had on average 14 years experience. A team of astrologers from one astrologers institute also performed at chance expectation. The president of the Maharashtra Astrological Society claimed to be able to predict sex and intelligence 60% of the time each, but he performed no better than chance in double-blind conditions. <laughs> See also